Now, let's process or create paychecks for our employees. Let's come here into the Employee Navigator and let's select the Pay Employees button. This button brings up the Select Employees to Pay window. First, select your check date and your pay period ending date. Next, we have two choices, enter hours and preview check before creating, or create check without preview using hours below and last quantities. If you're comfortable with the information down here, you can choose the second choice and simply create the check. However, we recommend the first choice, preview each check. Next, select the employees you want to pay. If you want to pay all of them, simply click on mark all. Otherwise, you can pick and choose the employees you want to pay by going down the list. Once you have, have your criteria set up on this screen correctly, click on Create, and the first check is previewed. This check is for Dan Miller. Dan is a salaried employee, and it shows the different jobs he worked on here. So this is all of his gross pay information up here. Over here, sick and vacation information. Other payroll items are shown down here. Company taxes and all employee taxes and this is what's going to appear on the employee stub, this section. If you're cutting a special check for Dan Miller and do not want to accrue vacation and sick on that check, click this box. This check looks good so we're going to click on create. And now we're on Elizabeth Mason. Let's talk about sick and vacation accrual. Elizabeth took both sick and vacation time during this pay period. This pay period has 88 hours in it. She worked 60 hours and she took sick hours of 10 and she took vacation hours of 18. Notice how her vacation available and sick have both been adjusted over here. So that's how to handle when somebody takes sick or hourly. Sick or vacation time for hourly people, then you pull in the sick, vacation, hourly items, record the hours over here, and reflect those hours being deducted from up here. Let's create this check. And now we're on to Greg Schneider. For Greg, he no longer is participating in the health insurance plan. So simply select the health insurance plan and hold down your control key and hit delete. And that takes the health insurance plan out of Greg's payroll check. However, the next time we want to pay Greg, it'll show up again. In order to remove health insurance permanently, then we'll need to go into Greg's record and remove it from his record. Editing time. Let's talk about this column. If we change time here, it does not change it on the timesheet. So we have two choices if time is incorrectly on the timesheet and we notice it when we're processing payroll. We can edit the time here, but once again, it doesn't change the timesheet. We'll also need to go edit the timesheet. Or we could leave this process. We'd lose all the work we've done to this point. Go edit the timesheet and then come get back in to create payroll checks. This check is correct now. We're going to click on Create. This returns us back to the Select Employees to Pay window. We can simply close this window, and now we're ready to print the paychecks.